Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that one? Ah! Ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. Fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? Got it. be the most gentle, but it is important. Whoa! Hey there. 
there. <laughs> it's okay, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadour, get up here! Pompadour? You little killer. It is glad I paid that off. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. A betting slip, twelve hundred dollars, way out of my league. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV? Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <sighs> okay. Fine. Guess Rachel's dad is into bad girls. You hear the mill burn down? <sighs> Shit. Really? Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No, but I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. I've got a little job for you. Open my notebook, last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? No. I never talked to him, or his type. No one's just a type, Price. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? I, I, I don't know. It, it doesn't feel right to go through his room. Does it feel right that he stole a grand from me? From you, or from Damon? Same difference. Well, it's not my problem. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I, I'm not supposed to be at Blackball. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, R Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal.
didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. They're just too high risk. I always knew that one day Miss Price would leave an indelible mark upon this school. Locked. <laughs> Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Such a nice white door. Though it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. <sighs> Hey! Shit. I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. <laughs> 
Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. It doesn't feel different. I don't belong here anymore. It's not my school. I, uh, I don't have a school. But nothing feels different. Everything still feels shitty. And here I am about to break into the freaking dorm so I can steal money that Drew owes my drug dealer. This is gonna go great. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Tricks on you, because I am the ultimate lost cause. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So, what are you doing here? I'm just picking up something from uh, somebody. It's for a friend. Now I'm really curious. What are you doing? What's all this stuff? I'm prepping for the Tempest show tonight. I'm the stage manager. Oh, right. Uh, I think I knew that. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, He's actually very princely, and Nathan is Caliban. <laughs> There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well, good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... You think we're... together? It looks to me like you've got a thing for her and maybe she has a thing for you. And I wouldn't want to get in the way. I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <laughs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. Yeah. Sorry, man. Desperate times call for smashing sprinklers. No time like the present. Chloe? 
Uh, hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't... I, I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Oh, didn't think so. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. It's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. Where is this coming from? Friends don't violate each other's civil liberties, Skip. Good one. Look, look, look! I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. You're... you're sorry? Y you just looked at my tits. You, you did! You stared right at them. Oh, shit. I, I don't know what to do. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. What? Is that, uh, descriptive enough? I don't want to know about- En fuego utero, Skip. En fuego utero. I don't, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. Matthews. <sighs> I'm here? I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? I won't tell anyone. All right, which one is Drew's room? Doubt I'll ever see my name on one of these. Too many chances to screw up before senior year.
Could Elliot be lamer if he tried? Elliot does work really hard. I guess I'm happy. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he... I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or... <laughs> really. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken point. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. Elliot's kind of preppy in his own way. Maybe he does belong at Blackwell. Wow. I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. That is really gross. I wonder what Max would think. Guess I'm not the only one who keeps a diary. That's not half bad. Okay. Who is Elliot? <laughs> Wait. Are these about me? Elliot's mom seems lucky. <laughs> huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Elliot likes to write poetry about me, eh? <laughs> what do I want to say in response? Roses are red, violets are blue, and you're kind of a creeper, dude. Good. <laughs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> Is the money in there? All right. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. Plenty of possible combinations here. Yes! This is kind of fun. All 
Ah. Uh, did little Drew beat you up too? <sighs> Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of here. Hey, Mikey. Chloe? What are you doing here? <laughs> no reason, just <laughs> roam in the halls. Girls aren't allowed in the boys' dorm. Bro, we gotta go. What are you doing here? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Drew, what's going on? Don't worry about it. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit! I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Ugh! I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Ugh! Where is it? Ugh! Please! Just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. <laughs> Sorry to have to do oh. this, kid. No oh. one steals from me. Oh. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Stop. It's okay. I, I, I've got your money. Ah, I didn't realize we had an audience. Hey, Mikey. Okay. Who the hell are you? Frank sent me to collect. That's what Frank was going on about? Wait, are you the bitch who tuned up Sheldon? That guy at the mill? He, he was an asshole. He kept harassing me. He needed to get the message. Frank was right about you. Let's see the cash. We need that. It's all here. Uh, Mikey, you need uh, to help your big brother. Help uh, him understand that I take this shit seriously. Come on. Mikey's got nothing to do with this, man. You help your brother understand that if he steals from me again, I'm coming back here and I'm going to break his knees. Thanks, kid. Tell Frank I owe him one. We needed that money. You just screwed us over. Are you crazy? That guy could have killed you. You don't know anything about this situation. It's none of your business. 
I was only here because Frank offered to pay me to pick up the money you owed. I didn't know it was this serious. Next time, I'd appreciate it if you just came and talked to me. The situation's complicated, and I don't know what we're going to do. Uh, Mikey, uh, I got to look at your arm. Uh, just leave us alone. Uh, look, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry uh, doesn't get our dad off the streets, uh, does it? Uh, we'll be okay. This day has been so messed up. And that's before having to watch Victoria butcher Rachel's role. At least I can be here for Rachel. <laughs> if I can find her. Bitter much? I don't get bitter. I get even. Wonder which bachelor contestant Victoria stole that line from. Hey, Samantha. Shh. Nathan, please. I can't do it, Dad. I'm sorry. Keep your voice down. You don't understand. They all hate me. They're just gonna laugh at me. And the football team will just bully me more. Why do you suppose that is? I don't know. Because you show weakness, just like you're doing right now. But Dad... When will you learn that this isn't about you and your problems? This is about the Prescott name. 
my name. You will not embarrass me. Nathan. Yes. Good. Now. Break a leg. I'll see you after the show. Great pep talk, Mr. P. Everyone knows the best way to instill confidence in someone is by intimidating them. I don't know who you are, but mind your own business. <laughs> I'd love to. Don't you have, like, a private bunker filled with gold coins where you could have these conversations? Nathan's dad is some asshole, huh? I know. I wish he'd just go away and leave him alone. Nathan's dad sucks. But you should be careful what you wish for when it comes to parents. Oh, Chloe. I wasn't thinking. I'm sorry. <laughs> for what? You didn't kill my dad. Or did you? <laughs> that was a joke. I know. Your dark sense of humor reminds me a lot of Nathan's. Actually, the two of you are really similar. Uh, what the hell does that mean? I'm serious. You're both artistic and surprisingly sensitive. You've been through a lot, and a lot of people unfairly judge you for it. Nathan's hurt, and he needs help. But whenever I try to help him, it always seems to make things worse. If you were Nathan right now, what would you want me to do? When I'm super pissed, <laughs> the last thing I want is someone trying to calm me down. But maybe it's what I need. Like, uh, yesterday. I'm sure he'd be glad someone gives a shit about him, even when the rest of us don't. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. That's actually super helpful. Rachel? Oh, come on, V. You got this. You got this. Oh, shit, shit, shit. I can't do this. I'm going to ruin the play. What are you two doing here? Or did you forget? You let this loser dropout sabotage you. But really, I should be thanking you. Now I have everything I wanted. And you've got a new friend. So I guess we're both doing great. Now please leave so I can get ready for my performance. Even though I wish I was the one performing tonight, Victoria, I really am happy for you. I hope it's everything you want it to be. We both do. Right, Chloe? Rachel might be taking the high road, but not me. I know how much she wants to perform. All I need to do is convince Victoria that it's in her best interest to quit. I don't know. Have you really thought this through, Victoria? Performing tonight could be the equivalent of social suicide. What are you talking about? You think I'm going to take advice from a loser like you?
You know those voices in your head telling you how terrible you'll be tonight? You should listen to those voices instead. A theater isn't something I'd expect trash like you to understand. Theater is about standing in front of everyone so they can study your every flaw. Every flaw. The dramatic arts at Blackwell are venerated by... Uh, what am I saying? I don't have to justify myself to you. You know the phrase, drama queen? It's not a good thing. It's the thing no one wants to take to the prom. Only the best of Blackwell get to perform. And I've earned this. There's no winning this, V. Your best defense is tell Keaton you're sick, and then you won't have to know what 200 people laughing at you sounds like. Chloe, you're being a little harsh, don't you think? No, she's right. She is? I am? What was I thinking? Oh, look at this thing. I can't go out like this. I can't play this part. I don't know the lines. I don't understand the stupid play. I don't even like theater! You don't know the lines? Hello? I was cast as understudy to you? What were the chances I was actually going to be here? So... I quit! The show can go to hell for all I care. I'm not going down with it. You outdid yourself, Price. <laughs> I guess I did. <sighs> I better get ready. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The tower is a tarot, you know? It symbolizes sudden change. I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. Oh, <sighs> okay. I better start getting into costume before... Swing party, we're ruined. The show is ruined. That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. That's it. I will not abide this lack of professionalism any longer. I quit! Victoria? In fact, I am protesting the entire Blackwell Arts Program. It's time our talents were appreciated and not squandered by subpar faculty. <laughs> Good luck with your train wreck. Touché, fates. Touché. Mr. Keaton, perhaps I could fill in for Victoria? My dear, your visage is as a vessel sent by the heavens to offer passage to my stranded soul. But I'm afraid without our Ariel, all is still lost. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this.
seriously have to memorize all of this? Thanks, Rachel. When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. Got it. I sure am happy to see you right now. The best part of being kicked out of school is never having to worry about getting kicked out of school. God, poor Drew. He was just trying to keep his little brother safe and there I was, stealing from him. That Damon Merrick guy was such a freak. It's hard to imagine Frank being mixed up with a guy like that. But then again, I guess I don't really know Frank all that well. I really hope Drew and Mikey are going to be okay.